kicked off. It will be Townsend kicking off. Deep for Georgia will go Horace King and Steve White standing back at the goal line. Here is Townsend from Dalton, Georgia. High kick, deep in the end zone. Nine yards deep, he's going to down it. And so it will be Georgia's ball, first down at 10 to go at the 20-yard line as Townsend, with the wind, knocks it deep into the end zone. Wide out to the left side comes Harper as a split receiver. Johnson gives it to Bissell up the middle to the 22 to the 23 yard line. Stacked up in the middle of the line for Tennessee. John Wagster and Art Reynolds were there on the tackle. Defensively, Tennessee has Lambert at 6'3", 190 from Jacksonville at one end. Johnson, 6'2", 220. At the, the corners are Graham and Allen. The safety's pound. And back there with him, Brown. Here comes Andy Johnson. Spread out left to the 25, to the 26, to the 27, onto the 28 or 9 yard line. He's met as he gets forward to the 29 by Eddie Wilson, who came up to cover, along with Tim Town. It's short of a first down by two yards as they spot it a little shy, just past the 28 yard line. Andy Johnson behind three men who were out leading the interference on a sweep of the end. He's a fine running quarterback. Third down, Tennessee in a four-man front. Linebacker stunning. Quarterback is Andy Johnson. Long count, pitches it off to Bissell. Bissell for the first down, past the 30, to the 31, on to the 32, where he is submarine by Art Reynolds. But Georgia moves for the first down, and they have run Bill Anderson to the same side on the first three plays, coming to the close side. That's right, and one, of course, I think the first one was pretty much up the middle, but uh, they do what they like to do best. They just uh, power. Georgia, first down, 10 to go. No score, first quarter, just getting underway. Give to the fullback, and he is stopped. Tennessee spelled the play, and they stunted the linebackers right up there into the gap, waiting for Robert Honeycutt, who crunched from the 32 to the 32 and a half. Art Reynolds and Jamie Rotella, the linebackers who were plugging that middle, were there to make the... They go to the wishbone with Honeycutt and Bissell as the running back. Here's to give to the second man through and tipping forward is Bissell past the 33-yard line to the 34, and he falls at the 35, upended there by Fulgham of Tennessee as Georgia runs from the wishbone. Honeycutt, Bissell, and Bob Burns on third down, six yards to go. Harper, quarterback is Johnson, back to throw, waiting in the pocket, looking downfield, pass, dropped at the 40-yard line by the flaring Bissell. He was free at the 40 and would have had a first down, but he dropped the ball, so it becomes fourth down and six yards to go for Georgia. Drifting deep for Tennessee goes Eddie Brown and Dan Golden, who this year, Don Golden it is, has been averaging 38.9 on the punt, will be getting his punt back back there to set up a wall, a beginning wall for Brown. The snap, the punt is away. It's a wobbly punt angling to the near sideline and goes out of bounds, upfield somewhere. Let's see where they mark the ball. It will be in the vicinity of the 40-yard line. So Tennessee's decision, Bill Anderson, to take the wind has perhaps given Tennessee good initial field position. Well, John, they have excellent position right now on their own 40-yard line. Uh, with the wind to their back, and so uh, as it's worked out, it's been a good decision. However, Georgia had the first down made there, and Andy Johnson threw a, a perfect strike. The boy just, uh, he dropped it, this will drop it right in his hands in a little flare pass. Holloway, the quarterback, the fullback will be Bill Rutter for Tennessee. As Tennessee does a little shifting, but I think they lined up wrong rather than shifting. Holloway gives it to Sandback. Sandback to the 40, to the 45, to the 46 yard line. He's tackled there by Tommy Smoke, the defensive left in. Here's that defensive line for you as Georgia uses the five-man front. Smoke at 193, Bruce at 224, Cagle at 235, Hester at 217, and Jones at 225. Wide left for Tennessee, Emma Love. They're shifting that tight end back one way or the other. So that was indeed a shift the last time, rather than lining up wrong. Quarterback Holloway, second down four. Runner goes for the first down to the 50, past the 50. Running straight at Georgia, down to the Georgia 45 and on to the 44-yard line. Finally, wrestled down by Steve Sleek, a linebacker. Big block thrown by Galen Hill of Tennessee. The forward wall for Tennessee across the middle. Inside there is Killian, Hill, Eurobeck, Emmendorfer, and Schaefer. Tennessee first down, 10 to go at the Georgia 44-yard line. They shift the tight end. Tennessee, fullback, rudder, tailback, standback, long count, Holloway, handoff, rudder, rudder over left guard, 
does. Gets a little wet. Has the ball from the 43-yard line of Georgia to the 42, down to the 40, and beyond to the 39-yard line of the Bulldogs, where once again Steve Sleek is there on the tackle. Bill Anderson, Tennessee, is running straight at Georgia. They've done that, John, and it appears to be, from what we've seen just in this first series, that Tennessee's offensive line might be a little bit stronger than the defensive line of Georgia. Tennessee has the ball, second down and five yards. Rudder again, over the left side of the line, up the middle. He has the ball at the Georgia 35-yard line. There is a scramble for what might have been a fumble, but it would have occurred, I think, after the whistle had sounded, if indeed there was a fumble. Georgia indicated it had recovered it. The ball was moved by Bill Rudder over the left guard, down to the 34-yard line. Young to a tight end right. Quarterback is Holloway. Tailback is standback. Holloway looking over the defense, gives it to Rudder up the middle. He is stopped momentarily at the line of scrimmage. Spins off for maybe a yard from the 34 to the 33. And he was stopped there by David McKnight and once again Steve Sleek, who's doing quite a job as a linebacker for the Bulldogs. The ball will be spotted at the Georgia 31-yard line, actually, so that Rudder picked up more yardage than it originally appeared as he was shoved backwards. He has carried the ball four times for 22 yards. Tennessee has its second down seven at the Georgia 31-yard line. They shift the tight end to the right side again. Holloway looking, keeping, pitching, stand back. Goes outside at the 35, 30, inside the 30, down to the 26-yard line. Forced out of bounds by the free safety, Jerome Jackson. The block was thrown by the fullback, Rudder. To the outside went stand back. Let's see where they spot the ball. They bring it in. They're lining it up. Inside the 30, as we mentioned, at the 26-yard line. It will be two yards short of a first for Tennessee. It will be third down to Tennessee at the Georgia 26-yard line. No score first quarter. Tennessee power eye right. Terry Moore is in there for blocking. Jim Sandback fighting for the first down. Does he have it? Yes, he has it. As he rams his way past the 20-yard line onto the Georgia 19. Tommy Smoke makes the tackle. Dick Kahn helps out. But the block up front by Emmendorfer and Schaefer on the strong side, and also by Terry Moore. The Wide left is Love. Tennessee has kept the ball on the ground. Holloway gives it off to Rudder. Rudder up the middle. It stood up. He got a yard. But Georgia adjusting to Tennessee's power game in the middle. Stops it short this time. Jim Cagle was there defensively. Let's see where the ball is moved. From the 20... 19 and a half, forward it goes to the 17 for a gain of two. It will be second down at eight yards to go. Tennessee began this drive at the one first down, then punted. Tennessee deep in Tennessee's forward wall move. Holloway will keep and is caught from behind and spun down for no gain. The right side of the Tennessee line jumped off sides apparently, but Holloway was caught from behind by McKnight. So the Georgia has a decision as to whether they want to take the play, which was a loss of a yard, or a penalty. It is a backfield in motion call against the man front. Linebackers up close. Holloway, the quarterback. On a draw, gives it over here to the quarterback, who is man back, and he is thrown for a loss back to the 21-yard line. The linebackers were blitzing all the way, and on the draw, they played it brilliantly, and so... Sandback is thrown for a loss back to the 21. Ricky Townsend coming into the game for Tennessee with 7.55 to go. Georgia's defense rises to the occasion. Stops Tennessee's drive, and Townsend will be attempting a field goal from the 28-yard line, a 38-yard attempt by the Dalton Georgia Lady. Snap down, kick is up. Townsend's kick is no good off to the right. Honeycutt, the running backs in the eye. Wide out to the left side comes Harper. 
Quarterback is Johnson. Johnson is fading to throw. Johnson is waiting. Johnson is throwing deep. Long gone downfield. The putt hole is batted down and complete at the 25-yard line of Tennessee by the covering David Allen, a native of Athens, Georgia. As Johnson threw that ball, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 to 54 yards, and Allen flicked it out of the grasp of the intended receiver, Putnell, who had half a step on him, Bill. Well, I think that's what uh, has gotten a lot of respect for Andy Johnson. He's got a tremendous arm, as well as being a good runner. Uh, Johnny, he was throwing into a pretty brisk wind, too, when he let that ball fly. It will become second down and 10 to go. And Honeycutt, still your running back. Wide to the left side comes Putnell again. Johnson gives the ball over to Bissell. Bissell tracks through one tackle at the 30, moves the ball to the 33 to the 34, forward to the 35-yard line. He is tackled as he gets to the 35 by Witherspoon and Pulliam. Ball at the 35. It's a gain of five yards on the play, making it third and five, Georgia. The Bulldogs came out and threw the long bomb on first down, so now they're faced with third down and five. Bissell has carried the ball six times for 20 yards for the dogs. They split the running backs for the first time this far in the game. Pitch goes wide. You moved in the line, Georgia. Georgia with the ball. Bissell gets the pitch, sweeping wide to the right side, to the 35, to the 36, onto the 37-yard line, where Ken Lambert, the defensive left end, and Carl Witherspoon, the trailing middle linebacker, make the tackle. But it appeared to me that the Georgia right side of the line might have moved before the snap was made. It is short of a first down by a yard and a half. It will be fourth down, a yard and a half to go, or, and Tennessee will decline the penalty. So coming into the ball game is Golden. Mark, far away from you, on the far side of the field, the north side of the field. Snap to Golden. Hunt is away. Hits it well, a beautiful spiral. Brown, under the ball at the 22, makes the catch, gets the ball to the 25-30. 35, knocked down at the 37-yard line is Eddie Brown. Tennessee will have the ball at that point. Downfield covering for Georgia was Lynn Honeycutt. The punt was good for 38. The return is good for nine yards by Eddie Brown. Tennessee gets the ball for the second time in the game. The first time, the ball counted off about seven minutes of the clock and moved the ball from the 40 down to a field goal attempt of 38 yards, which was wide to the right. The fullback is Rutter. The tailback is Standback. The quarterback is Holloway. The tight end shifting to the right side is Sonny Lee. Wide right, Howard. Wide left, Emmon Love. Tennessee first down 10. Holloway. Standback gets the give, comes straight up the middle of the right guard, moves the ball from the 36-yard line to the 38 onto the 39. He was tackled by George Pilcher, the linebacker on the left side, and Dan Jones, the middle guard, was also there on the stop. Moving the ball from the 37-yard line to the 39, it will be second down and eight yards to go. A short eight. Wide right end or strong side to the wide side of the field away from you. No score, first quarter. Rudder the fullback, Standback the tailback, Holloway the quarterback, Holloway keeping, got to pitch to Standback, getting to the corner, 40, 45, gets outside to the 47-yard line, where the cornerback on the far side, Larry West, makes the tackle on him. It may be short of a first down at the 47, they may line it up and see, no, he's got a first. It looks like from here, as they finally spot it at the 48-yard line of Tennessee, and it is first down and 10 to go for the Volunteers. So Standback sweeps the side as they froze the linebackers with the fake to rudder. Then Holloway picks the ball to the trailing standback who has carried the ball five times for 30 yards. First and 10, Tennessee. No score, first quarter. George shifting back to the right side. Wide right is Howard. Second down, 10, Tennessee. Fullback is rudder. Tailback is standback. Fake to rudder. Holloway pitches the standback. Needs the block. Gets to the 50. Down to the 45. Lowers his head and booms through to the 43-yard line of the Georgia Bulldogs. He boomed through George Pilcher, the linebacker. It was Jerome Jackson who gets credit for the tackle. Ball moves to the 43-yard line of Georgia by Haskell Standback going wide. Tennessee getting a couple of substitutions into the lineup. And perhaps tearing up the telephone wire from the coach's box in the press box at the same time. At least third down, a good two yards to go for Tennessee. Clock is important. Tennessee on a quick count. Gives the ball to Standback up the middle. Standback breaks free from one man at the 35-yard line. 45-yard line. Down to the 40. Down to the 35. Down to the 33-yard line. Goes Haskell Standback. The block on that counter left was by Galen Hill. The tackle was by who is now young to the left side or wide side of the field. Fullback stays rudder. 
This is Holloway, keeping, cutting up field, breaks away from one man, slides past the 30-yard line of Georgia, diving it forward to the Georgia 28. Jones and Pilcher tackle the sophomore from Huntsville, Alabama at that point. This series began at the 33-yard line. The ball is now down to the 28. Tennessee keeping it on the ground and keeping it inside with the exception of two occasions when Stanback has circumvented the wide was over left tackle. Tennessee second down five at the Georgia 28-yard line. Holloway looks over the defense, gives it to Rudder. Rudder up the middle, spins off one tackle at the 25 and twirls forward to the 24 and a shade beyond. Tommy Smoke there on the tackle for Georgia. Tennessee continues to run right at them and it is close to being a first down they may measure. Three-yard line of Georgia. In the eye, power side left. Quarterback Holloway. Holloway. Keeping, pitching to stand back to the corner at the 20, cuts inside to the 15, runs through a man to the 13-yard line. Tennessee goes wide with stand back on a great pitch from Holloway after, again, a brilliant fake to Rudder, freezing the linebackers and also spoke the end. Trailing up to make the tackle was Rosenberg. The ball is moved down to the 11-yard line of Georgia. It will be for 61 yards in the game. Tennessee shifts to the right with the tight end coming to the wide side of the field. Carruthers is in there at tailback for standback. This is Holloway, pitching to Carruthers, coming wide right, tries to get outside. He is pinned in at the 14-yard line and thrown for a loss. Back at the 14 by a crashing cornerback who came up to make the stop, Dick Kahn. Dick Kahn, the cornerback, came up to catch and make the stop on Paul Carruthers, who had come in at tailback, tried to get wide for an instant. It looked like Tennessee had the interference in front for him to turn the corner and gain good yardage. But fighting through that interference was Khan with an excellent defensive play at the 14-yard line. This is Holloway back to throw. Here comes the blitz. Holloway under pressure. Holloway pitching downfield, completed the 10, down to the 5, down to the 3-yard line, fights the interior receiver, who was Bill Rutter, the fullback. Rudder makes the catch at the 10, runs through a man at the 5, and fights his way forward. We'll wait till they spot the ball at the hash mark. It appeared to me to be at the 3-yard line. That's where it's going to be. Tennessee is short of a first by 2 of a touchdown by 3. Dick Conn and Larry West made the tackle for Georgia. Holloway, under pressure from the rear, dropped the pass out into the left as the first quarter comes to a close. That's the end of the first quarter with the score. Tennessee nothing, Georgia nothing. Moore and Rudder are in there. Tennessee moves. The handoff goes to stand back up the middle, fighting his way forward to about the one-yard line. But Tennessee's left side jumped as they got the play in motion. There will be a decision. Georgia could, of course, refuse the penalty, and it will become fourth down and less than a yard to go. But they're going to take the penalty, and it will bring it back out to the seven-yard line. Tennessee's left side jumped. So once again, as has been true so often this year, we remember back to the Georgia Tech game. Quarterback is Holloway. Holloway spinning out to the right, looking, waiting. Holloway passing out to the 10, taken by Rudder, to 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 7, 6. Has the big on Bill Rudder. Rifles in the score for Tennessee, and Whaley... It could have been a blessing in disguise, we almost said it, because Georgia had punched it up so strongly in there to stop Tennessee's thrust deep inside the five, and Tennessee's fullback has been open on that play time after time. Holloway with a great fake right, dropped it on a little pass out into the flat to Rudder, who just barreled his way through the score. Holding will be Holloway. The extra point is up, the kick is good. There's time out on the field with a score. Tennessee 7, Georgia nothing. As cool as that, it leaves a big area for the fullback to go out like he's going to block and just slip out into the flat and he's wide open in there. Here's Townsby kicking off into a win and it's a spiral. It will be taken at the 7-yard line by Georgia. Back to the 10, to the 15. He slips and falls as he gets to the 22-yard line. Gets up and tries to run again. That was Steve White, the tailback, who brought the ball back upfield to the 22. Georgia now with the win behind it. A return of 22 yards on the kickoff out to, well, Margaret at the 23. Watch the ball goes David Christensen, who's in there as a split receiver. Honeycutt, the fullback. The tailback is Bissell. The quarterback is Johnson. Johnson keeping coming left. Cuts up field to the 25, and that's all. He's 
sends his flanker to the close side. Hash mark toward you, and the split receiver is out this way. Johnson gives it to the tailback. Fissel comes up the middle. Fissel at the 30. Fissel pass the 30 to the 33 to the 34. He's got a first down. Tim Towns and Jamie Rotella make the stop, but Fissel, who is a junior from Birmingham, Alabama, on what I would term a sprint draw. They just sort of turn around, give the ball to him, and he runs Bill Anderson for daylight. Yeah, he made a real nice move. He started like he was going to go just about uh, off his right guard, and then he made a cut to the outside. First down, 10, Georgia, trailing 7 to nothing. Johnson looks over the defense, gives it over to Bissell. Bissell is submarined and thrown at the line of scrimmage, maybe a shade behind, by Jamie Rotella, the strong side linebacker, who smelled the play and came blitzing through to up in him for a loss of a yard. From the 33 and a half back to the 32 and a half yard line. Second down, 11 to go. Bissell has carried the ball nine times for 30 yards thus far for the Georgia Bulldogs. Second down long for Georgia. Tennessee rotates to the left side. Spreading out is Christensen. Johnson looks over the defense. Gives it over to Bissell coming to the left. Bissell fights as he runs into Conrad Graham, who comes up to cover him perfectly. Got past the 35 and moved the ball to the 36 or 7 yard line. Mark it at the 37 where Conrad Graham, who has the pressure first of containing the split receiver Christensen, then, after letting him go on to the safety who picked him up pound, Graham came up to fight off the interference and make the tackle on Bissell after a gain of four, making it third down and seven yards to go. Splitting to the right side is Christensen. The running backs are also split. Johnson, back to throw, waiting, good protection. Now it's beginning to break down. Now he's looking, now he's running 35. He gets to the 40 and has run out of bounds at that point, short of the first down. Tennessee had a lot of people back in pass coverage, and Johnson had plenty of time to throw, but then as the pass protection began to break down, Pulliam and Simonson began to, began to get close to him. He circled out to the right side and got up short of the 40-yard line and short of the first by four and a half yards. Putting with the wind will be Don Golden. Deep for Tennessee goes Eddie Brown. The Vols lead 7-0 over Georgia at Athens. Snap to Golden. Golden front with the wind in the air, and he hangs it high and drills it deep. Brown trailing to the far sideline, makes the catch of the 20. Looks for a wall. Gets there to the 22, to the 25. He is then powered down to the ground at the 25-yard line. There's time out of the field to score. Tennessee 7, Georgia nothing. A group of specialists working together as a team. That describes a modern coaching staff and a modern full-service bank like Third National. Each of the third's 23 offices is staffed with experts in every phase of banking. Tennessee against the wind, leading 7 to nothing. Moore and Carruthers, the running back. Tight end, Sonny Leach, shifts to the left side. Holloway at quarterback. Georgia with a five-man front, trailing 7 to nothing. Holloway, keeping, cutting up field. He is wrapped up after gaining a yard or two. Got the ball from the 17 to the 19, and Steve Sleek makes the tackle on Condrich Holloway. The score, 7 to nothing. The time, 8.20 to go in the first half of the game. Tennessee leading by seven points, deep in its own territory, after a nipping infraction against Tennessee. Holloway in the eye formation with the tailback Carruthers. Wide left comes Emin Love. Holloway goes to the opposite side, pitches to Carruthers. Carruthers turns up field to the 20, to the 25, to the 30, to the 35, to the 40. Tennessee has it first and 10 at the Georgia 25. 56-yard scamper along the far side boundary to the left side. Howard splits wide out to the left. Holloway with the football at quarterback for Tennessee. Spinning out to the left. Faking. He's going to throw. He's going to be hemmed in. He's going to be thrown for a loss at the 28-yard line. He was looking downfield for his tight end Young, who was covered downfield by Dick Kahn. Deeper went Holloway, uh, went Howard. Howard was covered by Swinford, and Holloway was tackled by Spoke for a loss back to the 28-yard line. 
It becomes second down and 13 yards to go. The tailback, Tennessee sets the slot right. First time we've seen this step, second down long. This is Holloway pitching the stand back. He reaches out to get the ball at the 30, and then he is dropped at the 28-yard line. Great defensive play on the corner by George Pilcher. That was the play on which Carruthers went 56 yards, but this time Pilcher was not to be denied, and he makes the tackle actually for a loss of a yard. Back to the 29-yard line, where it becomes third and 13 Tennessee at Georgia's 29, with the balls leading 7 to nothing, and with 6.40 left to go in the first half of the game. Slotting left is Howard inside of Emin. The running backs are split. Back to throw at Holloway on a quick count across the middle. Complete. Down to the 20. Down to the 15 yard line goes Jimmy Young. He is short, I think, of a first down by less than a yard. They will spot it at the 15. And it is short of a first down by about six inches. Tennessee may talk about it. We'll see. The Vols may want to time out. Tennessee's coming in with a full house backfield. The Vols are touchdown. The Vols at the 15-yard line. Georgia stacks it up with an eight-man front. Handoff goes follow uh, rather the stand back. He falls over the right side of the line. He has a first down as he battles his way down to the Georgia 13-yard strike. First and ten, Tennessee, as the Vols decide to forego the field goal into the wind and give instead to the catapulting sandback who moves the ball to the 13-yard strike. Tennessee first and 10 at the Georgia 13. For nothing. Fullback is Rudder. Tailback is Sandback. Quarterback is Holloway. Wide left is Howard. Wide right, that's Emin Love. Holloway looks over a five-man front. He's going to spin out to the left. He's going to wait. He's going to throw the ball into the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee, to the tight end, Sonny Leach. Great pattern by Leach. Great throw by Holloway as Holloway just parts the ball to the tight end, Sonny Leach. No, 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 no. There must have been a mix-up in the secondary for Georgia because Leach came fit off the line and ran it. That little uh, hook pattern there, and he was all alone from the time he came off of the ball. There was nobody with him all the way. Of course, the big thing that set the score up was the big run by Carruthers on the pitch, and that's been an awfully big play for the volunteer offense in the first half here. Holloway will hold for Townsend's conversion attempt. It's down, the kick is up. The kick by Townsend is good. There's time out of the field with the score. Tennessee 14, Georgia nothing. Josh is a coach. Off Horace King deep for Georgia, along with Steve White. Here comes Townsend, and here's the kick into the wind. It's a wobbly one. It will be taken on a bounce, rolling into the end zone. You better down the ball. He finally does in the end zone. King let the ball roll, and for an instant, Bill Anderson, it reminded me of a Tennessee game of some years past that you may recall. <laughs> I recall it very well, John. I let it lay there, and of course, that's a live football. If Tennessee can get on it, they've got seven points. But I think if somebody had known... In the final minute of the first half of the game, exploded downfield. A great run by Fulis. He was tackled with a face mask in fraction against Tennessee, adding 15 more. Then a pass from Jan uh, Jack uh, Johnson out to Putnell. And now Georgia set Once again with that twin set left, trailing 14 to nothing. First down, 10 to go at the 20. This is Johnson on a keep right. Turns up field to the 21, to the 22, on to the 24, up to the 25-yard line. Tackled by Lambert of Tennessee at that point. Johnson, when he rolls out to the right, the guard's full, and he's got four, sometimes five men, it looks to me, in front of him, Bill. 
Yeah, of course, he's getting his two backs out there. He's just rolling out behind everybody and turning it up the field. There's an awful lot of interference. Second down five, Georgia at the 25-yard line. They give us to Pulis. Pulis at the 25 and the 26 to the 27-yard line over right guard. Backed up by Pulliam at that point. It will be short on first by three yards. So it becomes third down and throwback. Burns is the wide receiver squatting to the left side. Here is Johnson, back to throw. He's looking for Burns. He's passing to Burns, complete at the 31-yard line. He's immediately decked at that point, but he's got a first. The pass was complete to Burns, the slot man. He was tackled by Towns at the 31-yard line, where it will be Georgia's ball, first down and 10 to go. Georgia on a pass out into the flat to the slot man who cut underneath the wide receiver, Putnam. So Johnson has completed the pass. Bissell has replaced Coolidge at tailback for Georgia. Fullback, he's gone all the way. Quinn set to the wide side right this time for Georgia. Johnson, back to throw. Waiting, looking, being pressured. Going to be dropped for a loss at the 21-yard line. The first pressure was, throw, was applied by Jamie Rotella. And then it was Eddie Wilson, the weak side linebacker, who came from the backside to make the tackle on Johnson, who almost scored it free. He did free himself of Rotella, but then Wilson was there to make the tackle on him. Back, they say, at the 22, where his forward progress caught, carried him. It will be second down and 19 yards to go. Second and 19, twin set wide right. Third down, 19 yards to go, Georgia, at its own 22-yard line. The running backs are split. A slot right. Johnson dropping straight back to throw. Pressure applied. Pass across the middle is incomplete and almost intercepted. It was intended for Christensen. In all honesty, he should have caught the ball at the 45-yard line. But it danced off his outstretched fingertips, and then racing after the tip was Tim Towns, who almost got it, but not quite. So it becomes fourth down, 19 yards to go. Johnson was on top. Yeah, that was a fine throw in there. If anything, it might have been a little bit high, uh, John, but the Christensen was wide open and certainly should have caught the ball. Back to front now will be Golden. The snap, the punt is away by Golden, end over end. Eddie Brown under the ball at the 35, gets back to the 40. 45 looks for a wall and steps out of bounds as he moves, I think, past midfield, right down below where our view is somewhat screened by the Georgia bench, and the shadows begin also to edge out onto the field at Sanford Stadium. He did it. He returned the ball to the 48-yard line of Georgia. So as was true in the first half, when Tennessee elected to take the wind and kick off, the balls in the first half, as I recall, got the ball at their own 40-yard line. Stand back to tailback. Holloway is the quarterback for Tennessee. He's gone all the way. Holloway coming to the coast side. Keith starts to cut, flips and falls after a gain of a yard. From the 48 down to the 47, maybe the 46-yard line, in the pin him was Spivey. Holloway on the year coming into the game had carried the ball 74 times for 187 yards. He had been thrown totally for a loss of 351 yards. Tennessee shifts its tight end to the wide side left. Second down, nine yards to go, Tennessee. Give Rudder over the left side of the line, and he pulls his way past the 45-yard line of the Bulldogs to the 44. Steve Sleek, the linebacker from Arcel, Georgia, is there to make the tackle on him. Duke is leading Georgia Tech now in the third quarter, 20 to 7. That's at the end of three, at the end of three quarters. And that, of course, is particularly important here to the Georgia fans to uh, follow Georgia Tech also. Tennessee has the ball third down. It will be six yards to go for the ball. Howard slots left. Splitting right comes the tight end. That's Young. Howard is slot, slotted inside of Emmett Love left. Holloway is going to dance out to the left side to throw. He's looking. He's waiting. He's passing. It is incomplete. And send it for Howard, who grabbed it at the 27-yard line, was jolted. The ball popped up out of his grasp. He reached out, got his hands on it again, then lost control at the 27-yard line. So Tennessee is faced with a fourth down six situation. And Neil Clayball, the sophomore from Knoxville, will come into the football game in the third quarter of the game. Holloway was on target and Howard simply couldn't contain the ball. The snap, Claybo's punt is away. It's a high one. Aiming for the end zone. It's got about to the five. It didn't go into the end zone. It's down at the four. That ball hit at the one, I'm sure. Yes. Scobie was right on top of it. 
and the ball hit at the one yard line and took a reverse spin back to the four. If this year it goes past the plane of the goal line, it is an automatic touchback. But that ball hit on the one and chipped back out to the four. 40 yard punt. But position was the key to Paul Johnson, the quarterback, deep in his own territory, in the eye. This over tailback. Johnson rolling out to the left side. Tries to get around the end, cuts up field of the five, fighting his way out to the eight yard line. Fine football player, Andy Johnson, sophomore. Rotella and Reynolds there to make the stop on him as Georgia is most intent now on getting the ball out of its own back door. They started this series at the four-yard line after Claybo's punt hit at the one and kicked back up field to the four. Johnson now has carried the ball eight times for seven. Not in there. Bissell is the tailback. Second down, five yards to go for Georgia at the nine. Johnson to Bissell. Bissell fighting through to the 10, up to the 11, to the 12. He, I think, is knocked down at about the 12 or 13-yard line. Let's wait till they unstack the volunteers. Carl Johnson was there first defensively, helping out with Claude Simons in the end from Covington. Where they mark the ball is critical. It will be marked at the 13-yard line. It is short of a first by one. Third down, a yard to go for Georgia. Actually, a little less than a yard deep in its own territory with 10 minutes left to go in the third quarter, Tennessee leading 14 to nothing. Big play for the Bulldogs and for the Volunteers who set it up with a five-man front with his through the middle guard. Quarterback is Johnson. He's going to sneak it. He's going to get his first down. He squirts through to the 15, to the 16, to the 18, all the way to the 20-yard line. Comes Andy Johnson for the first down. So Johnson, the junior, who was the sophomore of the year last year. We might have been calling him a sophomore. He's a junior quarterback from Athens. Just took it on himself to battle it out. This over tailback, the fullback is Honeycutt. This is Johnson giving the whistle, coming left to the 20, to the 25, hole opens up to the 30, up to the 32, fumbles the football out of bounds at the 37-yard line, where it will be George's ball, first down and 10 to go. Eddie Brown scampered over trying to recover the fumble, but it was Bissell coming off the left side, and that's the first time that Georgia's front draw has really worked. Bissell is coming out, and Coolis is in there at tailback as Georgia begins to move. Tennessee with a four-man defensive front. Johnson with a twin set wide right. Pitches the ball to Coolis. Coolis turns. He cuts up field from the 35 to the 40. On to the 41, a bit beyond. He was met as he gets up there by Ken Lambert at the bottom of the heap. David Allen was in there on the tackle also. The ball is spotted at the 42-yard line. A gain of five by Poulos. End of the ball game for Georgia. Comes Harper as a split receiver. The score, Tennessee 14, Georgia nothing. Tailback is Poulos. This is Johnson. He's got a pass out here into the flat. It is caught at the 45-yard line. Then stepped out of bounds immediately was the tight end who made the catch. That was... Lynn Honeycutt and David Allen is the man who forces him out of bounds, juggling the football at the 45-yard line. So it will be third down, a short two yards to go for Georgia. Beginning this drive back at its own four-yard line, and Johnson wedged it out for six. Then it was Bissell, and the line run. Now they have it at the 45-yard line. Give comes to Poulos, coming wide left, one-on-one. -on -one. He fights for what appears to be very, very close to a first down. He got to the 46 and a half. David Allen in the open field, one on one against Poulos, makes the tackle on him. The officials lining it up to see whether or not it will be a first down, and we may have a measurement to see. Right now, let's take 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Ball Network. Scoreboard 98 reports all the action. Very close, five-man front. Johnson, the quarterback. Looking it over, sneaking, fighting. I think he's got a first down as he edges forward to the 48-yard line. It will be first down and 10 to go Georgia at the 48. Johnson just sneaks it forward behind Big McWhorter and Hammond. And so Georgia has moved this football from its own four out now to the Georgia 48-yard line, picking up the ninth first down. Penalty lead 14 to nothing. Novak Spitzel back in there with his jersey repair. Andy Johnson has gone all the way at quarterback. He's spinning out to the right to throw. He's being pressured. He's got it up the pass downfield. It is intercepted, I think, or is it incomplete? It's intercepted by Tennessee's diving Hart Reynolds Yay! on a deflection by Allen, I think. It was intended for Honeycutt. Allen took the ball, and then Reynolds dived Bill Anderson.
fourth and at least seven yards to intercept the ball at the high spot. I don't know whether he's that long or not, John, but that was a tremendous effort on his part because the ball was going away from him, too. He was stretched straight out. Johnson with the ball. Gives it over to Bissell. Bissell to the 40-yard line, juggling the ball, miraculously holding on to it as he counters forward from the 41 to the 40. But the main thing is he held on to the football. Fulgham and Wilson makes the tackle. It's a different... Stop the quarterback, Sidney pitched it and hit a great big hole around the end. Second down, nine, Georgia at the Tennessee 40. Johnson rolling to the near side, will run to the 40, down to the 38, and as he goes it. He got to the 38, maybe a little beyond. Jamie Rotella and Carl Johnson team up on the tackle at that point. Lambert returns to the game for Tennessee at an end. As Johnson on the keeper comes left, moves the ball to the 37 and a half yard line. It has to be moved slightly past the 31 for a first. Bissell into the lineup, replacing Poulos for Georgia. Tennessee 14, Georgia nothing. Inside goes Christensen, double covered. Slot band right is burned. Third down long. Johnson back to throw. Johnson waiting. The left side opens up. He's running down to the 40, down to the 35, and he carries the ball forward to the 32-yard line. The entire left side of the field opened up, and Johnson scattered out this way. Hurrying up the cover was Danny Jeffries, and then Carl Johnson split over to help out also. He's short off first by a yard at the 32. It will be fourth down one. Fourth down, a yard to go for Georgia. This is the third fourth down situation Georgia has faced, and Georgia wants timeout. With timeout to score, Georgia trailing. Tennessee 14, Georgia nothing. Fourth down a yard at the 32-yard line of Tennessee. Georgia has it. Johnson gets to Bissell. Bissell for the first down. Down to the 30, down to the 25, down to the Tennessee 20-yard line. It will be first down and 10 to go for Georgia at the volunteer 20-yard line. Tim Towns and Eddie Brown make the tackle. But once again, Georgia on a short yardage situation goes on the give this time just a straight dive over the left side of the line to Bissell. And Bissell moves it down to the 20. Georgia, first and 10 at the Tennessee 20-yard line. The ball's lead, 14 to nothing. Honeycutt and Bissell, the running back. Johnson, the quarterback. Give it to Bissell, coming to the outside. He stopped for no game. John Wagster from Campbellsville, Kentucky, was the man who took out the interference. And then coming in to help out on the tackle was Reynolds and Eddie Wilson. No gain, second down 10 at the 20. Bissell has carried the ball 19 times for 86 yards in this football game. Johnson up to the line of scrimmage. Wide out to the right side comes Christensen. Honeycutt and Poulos are the running backs. Johnson rolling out to the right side will throw. He's looking. He's waiting. He's being pressured. He's throwing the ball into the end zone. Intercepted Tennessee touchback. Get the ball to the big arms at the 20-yard line. Intercepted by Conrad Graham, Winston Taylor, of North Carolina. Good pressure by Tennessee's defensive forward wall. Johnson thought about running. He should have because he threw the ball where there was nobody. Ken Lambert is the man who was putting on the pressure. And Johnson's throw, in that case, in all honesty, Bill Anderson, was not a good one. Well, he had plenty of time, too. John, I think he had an opportunity to look the situation over, except the defenders. Tennessee, which offensively in the third quarter, minus 12. First and 10, 20-yard line, leading 14 to nothing. Holloway, runner over the right side, grinding it out from the 20 to the 22, maybe the 23-yard line. The forward wall for Tennessee, Gene Killian of Tampa, Florida, Galen Hill of Brownsville, Tennessee, Steve Urebeck of Chicago, Bill Emmerdorfer of Cleveland, David Schaefer of Oak Ridge, Sonny Leach, the tight end from Raleigh, North Carolina, now Knoxville, Tennessee, Emin Love to split in from Oak Ridge. Love will come wide out to the left side. Jimmy Young has come on a tight end for Tennessee, second down seven at the 23-yard line. Young shifts to the right side where Howard is slotted wide right. Quarterback is Holloway, looking over a five-man front on a long count. Holloway, runner up the middle to the 25, to the 26. He stood up there by the middle of the line. Jim Cagle was there defensively. Milton Bruce there defensively, also for the Georgia Bulldogs. Moving the ball to the 26. It will be four yards short of the first down. Third down, four to go for Tennessee. The ball's in the first half. Kept the ball inside much of the time. Went out from the big run was the 56-yard run around the end by Carruthers on the pitch. Tennessee shifts. It's tight into the wide side of the field. Third down four at the 26-yard line. The ball's lead 14 to nothing, fourth quarter. Holloway will back, will fade to 
to throw. And the pressure comes out of there. Has the ball. The marker's down up field. Holloway to the 25, to the 30. To the 35, to the 37, to the 38, to the 39. And he's tackled. But there is a flag down on the play. Steve Sleek makes the tackle as skittering forward was Holloway for what appeared to be a first down. But downfield, a marker was dropped. And the officials are discussing the situation first with one another. Georgia has not yet sustained a penalty in this game. Tennessee has been penalized three times for 32 yards. The balls are moving in to discuss the situation. The officials also are looking it over. And here's the penalty. It will be against Tennessee. Penalty is, well, or, or is it? No, it's going to be against Georgia. He started against Tennessee. No, it's going to be against Georgia. A 15-yard penalty against Georgia. And here it is. That will be an automatic first down. A moment ago, it was wiped off by the penalty. Tennessee shifts its tight end to the wide side right. George in a five-man front stand back. Goes over the right side of the line to the 40, to the 45, to the 50, to the 45, to the 44-yard line of Georgia. What stand back turn it out. He is a fine runner. That time he was running inside in a crowd all the way for the first down, Bill Anderson. He is really, uh, since the Alabama game, John, this boy seems to have come into his own. He's Outside the left tackle, left strong side and get out this way with Howard split. Holloway looks it over, five man, seven man front. Give stand back, left side, spinning off close to the 41 yard line of Georgia, where he is stopped by Tommy Smoke. The defensive end with help from Sleek again. Sleek's played a fine game for this Georgia Bulldog 11. Tennessee 14, Georgia nothing. 12 26 to go in the football game. The ball's led at halftime by a score of 14 to nothing. Sandback has carried the ball 13 times for 95 yards in the game. Rudder, 9 for 39. Sandback, the tailback. Second down, six yards to go for the Volunteers in Georgia territory. Holloway, a little pass, completed the leap at the 35, down to the 30. Leach at the 27, they're wrestling, trying to get the ball away from him. But Leach says no as he makes it to the 27. Holloway, another brilliant fake. He's got such quick hands, and he faked it that time to the fullback, throws everybody, and Leach, just ran a little curl, or and actually diagonal to cross the secondary, and Holloway was right on target. Bill Anderson. Replay on radio. Tennessee's got a first down, tending to go at the 27-yard line of the Bulldogs. In the I formation, a little power I set right this time. Holloway, runner over the right side, has the ball at the 25, has the ball at the 20, has the ball at the 15, has the ball at the 10, powers his way down to the nine yard line of the Georgia Bulldogs. Running with authority this time rifling his way downfield from Winchester, Tennessee, Bill Rudder. Some fine running. He ran through several people and carried some folks for about the last five yards. They own that play before to the tight end. That has been open almost all stops it over the line of scrimmage to him. First and goal, Tennessee at the Georgia 9. Holloway the quarterback. Rudder the fullback. Stand back the tailback. They got a pitch. No, Holloway keeps spins and is dropped at the 10-yard line. Almost made it. Holloway, who is so quick, started the dart just before he made the pitch, but McKnight grabs his jersey, and Golden slid in to help out. A loss of a yard back to the 10. Tennessee 14, Georgia nothing. 10.47 to go in this football game as the shadows come out onto the field at Sanford Stadium. Wide right, Jones moves. That's Howard out that way. Out to the left side, split Emmon Love. Holloway may throw. Rolling out to the right side, being pursued from the rear, and is jumped from the rear. At the fourth, he fumbles the football, and it's recovered by Georgia. Joe McPitkin makes the tackle and the recovery. As Holloway from the blind side, never saw him coming, fumbles the ball, and Georgia stops Tennessee's drive and takes over. First down and 10 to go at the Bulldogs' 16-yard line. Great pursuit from the backside by Georgia's defense. Well, we really had several drives by both Tennessee and Georgia. John, it's been on you. They moved the ball. Execution has been real good by both teams. Move it down and get in scoring position. Then have a bad, uh, something bad happen to them. Georgia has it trading 14 to nothing at the Georgia 16-yard line. First down and 10 to go. This is Johnson spinning to the close side left. Turns up field. Has the ball at the 15 to the 20. Lowers his head and booms forward to the 22-yard line where Mike Mormon carries him out of bounds. Clock is stopped with 10-14 to go on the game. Tennessee leading 14 to nothing. The ball will be positioned at the 22-yard line, leaving it four yards short of the first. Second down is coming. The backfield for Georgia. Johnson, the quarterback, coming up the fullback. Wide left goes Christensen. Poulos, the tailback. Second down, four. Johnson 
going to get to Poulos. Poulos at the left side of the line is stopped short of the first down at about the 28-yard line by middle guard or middle linebacker Carl Witherspoon. Clock is running with 9.49 to go. Tennessee leads 14 to nothing. A moment ago, a Georgia drive was stopped on an interception in the end zone by Conrad Graham. And now a Tennessee drive starting at the go. Closer to two. Tailback is Poulos. Quarterback is Johnson. Pitch to Poulos. Going wide left. He fights for the first down. I think he made it. Past the 26-yard line. Great running on the left side as Tennessee had it contained slightly. Now they pull the ball down and spot it. Where they spot it's got to be critical. A whole host of operatives from both sides surrounding the ball. They spot it at about the 25-yard line. They're going to stretch the chain, and it will be first down and ten to go Georgia. Georgia with the ball, trailing 14 to nothing. Tennessee in a four-man front. Johnson gives it over to Bissell. Bissell up the middle is stopped as he moves the ball from the 26 to the 27 onto the 29-yard line, straight up the middle. Carl Johnson is there on the tackle for Tennessee, helping out with Carl Witherspoon. Time is a factor, but there's still plenty of time in this football game. 8.48 left to go. Bissell has carried the ball 22 times for 94 yards. Tennessee leads. A twin set wide right on second down seven. Second down seven. Johnson is going to give the ball. No, he's going to fake. He's going to pass downfield. The pass is completed as it's taken by Burns, the slot man right, who makes the catch at the 34 and is fourth out of bounds, close to a first down at the Georgia 36-yard line by Tim Pound. They spot it at the 35, and it appears to be less than a yard short of a first down. They may ask for a measurement. They don't need to. It is not a first down. Third down inches. This has been a game of third down, particularly here in the second form, 35 and a half yard line. Johnson, the quarterback. Johnson gives it over to Bissell, fighting for the first down. He has it as he twists off the first tackle over right guard, moving the ball to the 37 yard line. George will have it first down and 10 to go. Tackle made by Jamie Rotella. Helped out by Carl Witherspoon. Georgia with the ball at its own 37. Trailing 14 to nothing. Christensen out. Coming on for him will be Harper. Georgia on the game. Johnson lines it up with his running back split. This will right. Johnson fading to throw. Johnson waiting. Johnson looking. He may run out of that pocket. No, he throws it downfield incomplete. It was intended for Putnell, thrown behind him, and the pass is incomplete. Really nobody on top of him. Tennessee had in zone. He would not have been able to go all the way, but had the pass been on target, Bill Anderson, Putnell could have made a reception. Yeah, John, I was surprised he didn't run with the ball. Of course, he was looking down the field for the receiver, and when you're doing that, it's pretty hard to, to see how the flow of the defense uh, really gets away to one side. If everything was to the right that time. Had he put the ball down and run with it, he probably could have gone a long way. As it is, it's second down, 10 Georgia, trailing 14 to nothing. Johnson coming to the close side of the run, turns up field of the 35 to the 40, and powers his way past the Georgia 40 to the 42-yard line. Ken Lambert and Claude Simonson, who are in there at end. Claude, uh, Carl Johnson is playing a tackle now, along with Mormon. Reynolds also there helping out on the tackle as the ball is moved to the 42-yard line, where it will become third down and five yards to go for the Bulldogs. Down. Georgia has the ball now with a twin set wide left. Johnson, third down, five. Stop. Going to wait, looking, going to throw a long bomb downfield. The pass is incomplete, intended for Putnell. Tennessee had Danny Jeffries from Dyersburg playing it all the way. The pass was incomplete, and Johnson took a jolt after he released the football. Fourth down long. Claude Simonson from Covington is the man who tackled him just as he released the ball. Johnson is coming out. Does that mean Golden is in there? With 7.03 to go, Georgia faced with a fourth down long, and Golden is in the punt. Deep for Tennessee is Brown. Plenty of time. Plenty of time in this game. The Vols lead 14 to nothing. The snap, Golden with the win. Gets the punt away. Oh, he drills another beautiful punt. Brown backing up. Watches the ball go sailing into the end zone and on through. And so it will be Tennessee's ball. First down and 10 to go at the 20-yard line. There's time on the field with a score. Tennessee, 14, Georgia nothing. Do football and driving a car have anything in common? They sure do on the road had the ball. First down and 10 to go at its own 20, following the punt by Golden, which was a mammoth one of 58 yards. Quarterback Holloway on a give, veering over the right side of the line, comes fullback Bill Rutter. 
Runner pounds forward from the 20 to the 24-yard line for a four-yard game. Chuck Kennebrew is there to make the tackle for Georgia. It will be second down six for Tennessee. The Vols lead 14 to nothing with 6.24 on the game. Holloway at quarterback, runner to fullback, the tailback is standback. Holloway with the ball, he's got to keep up to the 25, up to the 30, breaks outside to the 33-yard line. Holloway has the first down. He saw it open up, he dances upfield for the first, and it will be first down 10 to go for Tennessee. He was tackled by Jerome Jackson, but Holloway that time saw the opening and skittered through. Now, he, of course, uh, he's having a fine day, I think, with the execution and all of them running the option. He's made some good decisions, and uh, that time he pulled it down just in time and quickly cut right up the field. Tennessee shifts its tight end to the right side right. First down, 10 to go. The Vols lead 14 and nothing. Holloway gives it to Rudder. Big opening through the right side of the line. Rudder to the 35. Rudder to the 40. Rudder to the 44-yard line, where he's wrestled down at the 45-yard line of the Volunteers. Big hole right side, Schaefer and Emmendorfer blocking for Tennessee. The offensive line, except for that period of the third quarter when Tennessee could do simply nothing offensively, has been coming off the 73 yards. Tennessee has it first down and 10 to go. First and 10, Tennessee at the 45-yard line. Holloway to stand back. Stand back to the left side of the line. Spins back to the interior as he was saw his hole momentarily shut off, and he walks forward to the 48, close to to the 50-yard line. Tommy spoke and Chuck Kinnebrew there. The ball at the Tennessee 48 and one half-yard line, starting at the 45, so it's second down and a short seven yards to go for Tennessee. Ball's breaking from the huddle with five minutes to nothing. Holloway sends wide to the left side. The split receiver, Chip Howard. Holloway keeps, he'll go to the 50, to the 45, breaks out that of the 40, downfield to the 35, still on his feet to the 32-yard line is Cundridge Holloway at Tennessee. Blocking out front, who was that? Love and also Haskell Sandback. But it's Condridge Holloway turning on the speed, turning the corner, and batting downfield to the 31-yard line of the Bulldogs, where Tennessee has the ball, first down and 10 to go. Holloway now has carried the ball for Tennessee's 20th first down to play with a five-man front. Tennessee shifts tight end Jimmy Young left. First and 10, Tennessee at the 31-yard line. Holloway gives it to Rudder. Runner up the middle, Rudder at the 30. Rudder turns it out to the 25-yard line. He is tackled there by McKnight of Georgia at the Georgia 25, where Tennessee will have it second down and four yards to go. Four minutes, ten seconds left to go in this football game. The Vols, with two second-period touchdowns, lead 14 to nothing. Georgia completely dominated the third quarter. Tennessee has come to life in the fourth period offensively. Rudder has carried the ball 13 times for 79 yards. Holloway, 15 for 30. With the ball is the fullback. Rudder over the left side of the line, diving past the 25 to the 23-yard line. Tennessee said at that time not in the eye, but with the running back split. Cagle and Spivey made the tackle on Rudder. He has to move the ball. Tennessee has to move it to the 21 for a first. It's inside the 25 at about the 23 and a half. Running back, runner and left is Howard. Shifting out here is Leak as the tight end. Quarterback is Holloway. Third down, three and a half. Holloway, keeping. He stops. He will be thrown for a loss at the 25-yard line. Holloway saw the opening, tried to get to it, but it was closed quickly by Steve Sleek, the linebacker, at the 25-yard line. Into the ball game for Tennessee comes Ricky Townsend to attempt the field goal. The score with three minutes to go in the game. Tennessee 14, Georgia nothing. The Vols began this drive at its at their own 20-yard line. Rudder for four, Holloway for nine, 20. Rudder for six, Rudder for one, Holloway minus one. The field goal attempt by Townsend is in the air. The field goal is no good off to the left. There's time out on the field with the score. Tennessee 14, Georgia nothing. Remember, friends, even in this age of the superhighway, the going's not always smooth. Once off the main roads, the going may be rough with bumps, dirt, dust, and water sliding. 